the first time I saw the, like, the first person that I saw the baptism, like, I saw baptism, we, her name was Kimie san and she was in her early 30s, and she was awesome. We didn't actually find her. She was found in a different area, and she just got an Eikaiwa pamphlet, which is our English class, and on the back, it has times for church, and it has times for the English class, and she looked at it, and she's like, I don't want to go to English class. I want to go to church, and so she goes to church, and she comes to Relief Society, and I heard all of this. I wasn't there, but that first day, she she was golden. She got up in Relief Society and bore her testimony. That does not happen. Like, do not expect that to happen, but she was awesome. Um, she didn't have a job, which is not like, that's not very common. Um, they're usually very busy, but luckily for, for us, she was very open. And so we were able to teach her very often and we were able to teach her within a six week span and baptize her at the end of the transfer, which is not common at all. But she was very gung ho. She, she loved Jesus Christ. She was always, she kind of would make all these funny jokes like, oh, I can't wait for the second coming. My biggest fear is that I'm, I'm going to wake up and he's going to come and I'm not going to have my makeup on, like all these different things. And I was like, that's like really cute that you think that. And it was cool that she had a little bit of a Christian background, which wasn't normal. Um, but, and she loved the Book of Mormon. She'd read it all the time. But the thing that concerned me about her is that she could spurt off all these things, but you didn't know if it was getting to her heart. Um, and that was something that I worried about. Is this conversion going deep or is it just, you know, is she finally fitting in somewhere or is it, you know, just all these different other aspects or is it just the Christian church that she's going to do right now because she did, like, she had gone, she was married in a Christian church. And, um... The point where I saw the atonement work the biggest on her was she just changed. There was a brightness about her face. She had to quit smoking. She smoked so much every day. I think she smoked like two or three packs a day. She was a heavy, heavy, heavy smoker. And we're like, you know, Kimie-san, if you want to get baptized, which she really did, you're going to have to quit smoking. And she's like, okay, okay, yeah, I'll quit. And she kind of started out it and she'd get a little better. She got all these little tools to kind of help her, but it wasn't really working. And we're like, Kimie-san, you need to quit if you're going to be baptized by this certain day. And she's like, yeah, 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 I'm working on it. And she would try really hard. She would even go into the coldest part of her room when she smoked. So she would like associate this cold feeling with the smoking and nothing was working. And I remember there was this one day that we decided to teach a lesson on the atonement. And um, that was one of the coolest experiences for me because we were teaching her and, and I didn't really know how to speak to her because it was my third transfer and I didn't know the language really well. And so oftentimes I would actually speak to my Japanese companion in, my, in very dumbed down English and she would be able to translate it to me. And we taught her about the atonement and and what Christ could do for her and how it could strengthen her and give her the power she needed to overcome this smoking. And so we taught her this big lesson that we thought we explained really well. And at the end, we're like, so Kimie-san, what does this t mean to you? What does the atonement mean to you? And she's like, it means that I, you know, I can be saved, like repentance and all this stuff. We're like, yeah, but no, that's not the point we're getting at. And it was the first time for me that I was able, like I had this strong impression that I needed to say something and I didn't know how to say it because I didn't speak Japanese. But I had a brother who, who struggled with, um, with drug addiction. And so I was able to incorporate my story and I, I told her how my brother tried really, really hard to quit smoking and he did for a period of time, but when things got stressful, he returned back to his smoking. Um, and then he tried to get off it again. But the second time around that he tried to get off of it, he went to church. He started going to church and becoming more involved in church. And he's been able to quit the drugs for good. And and that's how the atonement can work. And that was the first, and she started to realize that, oh, through Christ's strength that I can I can quit smoking. And it was this change in her within just a week. She was able to quit to the point where her father could smoke in front of her 
and she wouldn't care. She wouldn't want any of it. And her father wasn't interested in the church at all, but he kept taking us out to, to lunch and making us dinners, and they weren't very wealthy. And we asked him why he kept doing this. He's like, because you've done so much for my daughter. He's like, not only was she able to smoke, he's like, but there's a lightness about her. She's kinder. She's nicer to people. There's just a glow about her. She's just happy and you can tell. And that was the biggest time. That That's when I saw the atonement work in her own life. And that was a big growing experience for me as well.